Lieutenant Colonel Pemberton, we're now about 30,000 feet? Correct, about 28,000 feet right now. We're waiting for contact with the F-16 fighters. Correct. Uh, how fast will we be flying when we actually do the refueling? Do you, do you slow up or do they speed up? Uh, it's a little both. Right now we're at a slower speed. We're just sitting in an orbit waiting for them. Once we drop down, we'll have to push our power up. We have to get up to uh, 315 indicated to match their speed. So once they get a little closer, we'll push it up to match their same speed. So 315 knots. Correct, indicated. That's us in the center. That's a 20 mile scope. So he's about 15 miles off over here down below us, about 4,000 feet below us. We're gonna be refueling two F-16s today. Is that correct? Correct, out of Fort Wayne. Uh, they are, their call signs are Irish 1 and Irish 2. They're a flight of two. And they're right now doing their training between them uh, talking and they usually go one end of the area, the other go to the other end of the area and they'll do some scenarios between them. Master Sergeant Scott Ward, we're 30,000 feet right now waiting on the F-16s coming. You actually fly the boom, don't you? Yes, that's correct. Uh, we have a control uh, stick down here that we actually fly it with and uh, it's all connected by a series of cables and chains and it's hydraulically assisted. It's relatively easy to fly. It's a flying wing design, and um, the inputs are just as if you'd move a regular joystick, and it's down here on my right, and you can notice as I add an input with my right hand, obviously it reacts, and of course the airflow is really what helps us, but uh, really don't fly it around too much unless we're doing our checks before the refueling. You have the best, you have the absolute best view in the house. Uh, are you, are you part-time? No, actually I'm a full-time uh, civil servant, an air reserve technician out here at the base. And uh, this is my job uh, every day. Uh, it's kind of unique to the Air Force Reserve, but uh, this is pretty much what I do. I also have additional duties, obviously in addition to uh, flying. How many missions a week will you go on? On average, I perform two, usually a day flight and a night flight. Obviously, the, the, the most important part of uh, the refueling is right before we make contact. And then just a little bit, you'll see when they come up, when they're about two to three feet from the end of the nozzle there, the boom is, is our most critical time because that's as we're doing our closure, just about to make contact, any movement that the pilot and the receiver aircraft performs or turbulence we encounter, obviously will affect my performance on trying to make a contact. So that's really our most critical portion of the refueling at all. And that's when we actually become one big aircraft, if you will, once you make the connection. We have made visual contact with uh, Irish One, the F-16 fighter out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Our boom operator is Flying, actually flying the boom with the flying wing. And then I'll fly it back over the center line. And then slowly coach him in. To a nice little perfect contact, hopefully. Nice, there we go. 